Hello friends, welcome back. I can't believe it, but we're at part 50 on our walkthrough of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. This has been quite a journey and we are getting close to the end here, but there's still a few more things we need to do. Uh, like in the last video, what we got was our rocket heading back to bring our duplicates back here to help replenish our main base population so that we can settle on the last wink wink asteroid that we'll be going to. Um, so yeah, we got some other business to attend to though, and I'm only going to count this as being done if we check all these boxes to uh, complete all these things. What has probably happened in your run, if you're following along with this by now, is you're going to get this that says Temporal Terror has been fully charged. Um, I would not recommend firing this right now. This is going to be one of the last things that we do because there's a lot of work that needs to be done at this asteroid first to prevent this from just turning into a total wasteland. Um, you will get hit by a lot of rockets. What was that? Oh, it was probably radiation still being gathered. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot to disconnect these. Okay, they're still using power. Let's do this. Uh, uh, there. There we go. All right, anyway, so yeah, that's one of the things we need to do is open the Temporal Tear and breach the Temporal Tear. We're going to do those two things last. We also need to build a Great Monument, which we're going to do soon. Maintaining six morale, 16 morale. Let's talk about that really quickly. Um, this will eventually settle as you get more people uh, happy with their living arrangements. Right now I have duplicates sitting in this rocket that aren't very happy. And the way we can raise that on the other places, so where was this? Who was in... Who's right at 16? Uh, Pei at the water planet. Okay, so if we go to the water planet, let's take a look at Pei and see what Pei gets on a daily basis and see what we can improve. Because uh, getting them all above 16 is going to be one of the things that we need to check off. So there's a few more things that we could do to help that out. Um, hurry up, game, so I can click on Pei because we're just looking at an electric grill right now. Okay, so morale. Uh, it looks like our meal quality is not that great here. We could send better food here, but there's also some other things that we could really do to help out. So I think on each of them, one of the easiest things that we can do is start adding some recreation buildings. Um, we obviously can't add like a nature reserve, at least not without using some exploits and stuff like that, which I'll talk about later. Actually, I need to write that one down. It's one I kind of forgot about. Uh, but yeah, let's get something easy up here, which is just going to be like a juke bot or an arcade cabinet or something like that. You could also put in a beach chair or you could also um, increase the amount of break time that they have, especially on these outer asteroids. There's going to be a long time where they're kind of not doing anything because there's not really much to do once they're out here by themselves. So yeah, you could add some of that stuff. Um, we can just add a couple of buildings here just for funsies. Let's add a beach chair and let's add a jukebot. Sure. There. Now this duplicate ought to be a little bit more happy and that shouldn't be too much of a problem. The other things and the obvious things you will want to do which uh, with pretty much anywhere is make sure that they have their own private bedroom. Make sure they have a great hall to use and make sure they have a washroom. Even with relatively bad food quality, you should be able to meet this objective pretty easily. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because I don't know when, I, when else I really will. But the main point of this is going to be gathering space artifacts. There's a few different ways we could do that. So I'm going to show both of the more common ways here. So what you can do is I have some rockets that I'm using for mining stuff right now. Because before we go to the regolith asteroid, there's still some stuff that I need that I can go out and get. So rust is one of them. Uh, there, I'm down on lead right now. I could grab something like that. I don't know if... Letter graphite's actually on any asteroid, but I also need some metal ore. While we're doing that, we could just replace some of these modules with uh, the artifact modules and get those instead. And we don't necessarily need this many solar panels while we're out there, only because if we're building our rocket exactly like this, there is almost no power being used on a regular basis. It's really just the refrigerator, and if we absolutely needed it, we could have a duplicate just running on a hamster wheel in here to keep it powered. So there is some stuff we can do to at least fit that in. So if these rockets are going to go out mining, we might as well have them picking up artifacts on the way there, or rather at the places that they're going. I think they can actually reach these. 
And if we just have them doing that, then that should help satisfy this. So that's one way we could do it. And we'll launch off these rockets here in just a bit uh, and get that going. But the important thing with these is you're going to want to make sure that they are unique artifacts. So for it specifically says unique space artifacts studied. The reason it says that is because um, I have sent a mining mission here before. And this artifact still says it's available. But I already have that type of artifact, and those certain types of artifacts only exist on a particular space. So like, this one will always have the exact same artifact no matter how many times I go there. Buried object discovered. Oh. <laughs> My bots here are unearthing a vent by, or rather it's a regolith asteroid destroying it. I was like, what? I'm not having anybody, having anybody do that. So yeah, the, the certain points on the map will only spawn the same types of artifacts. So like, let's say this one has a robot arm. It will have a robot arm here every single time, meaning that we need to grab artifacts from 10 different locations. So we can't just do it by sending it to the same place every single time. So uh, one thing you can do if we have our mining rockets ready. Yeah, we do. Let's send these out really quickly. And I'm just going to go to the typical places I would go to mine. Oh, I don't have enough fuel on this. I need to turn this back on. Let's set this one out anyway. So we'll send this one out down here. I don't think I've picked up the artifact from this location before. The reason I'm sending it there is because there's more rust and I want more rust so that I have at least enough backup supplies for oxygen. So yeah, we can go ahead and grab them that way. Another way you can do it though, is especially on these other asteroids, your duplicants are gonna be idling a lot. So even on the gas planet that we just left, this duplicant's like, uh, I don't have anything to do. So what you can do is you can just create little carbon dioxide rockets, assuming you have all the supplies that you would need, like for oxygen and for food and stuff like that, and just send them on a quick mission back and forth. Because throughout the run, I've been advising that you keep some carbon dioxide around in these tanks, and you can always use that for rocket fuels for some of these shorter uh, trips. So yeah, that's also something that I really wanted to mention. Um, Let's get one of those built here really quickly and go pick that up. Um, we've built the carbon dioxide rocket several times, but let me figure out which one we want to send it from. This one doesn't have enough carbon dioxide right now, so probably shouldn't send it from there. How about the water asteroid? I don't think... We need to also make sure we can get back so we don't have to, like, abandon ship. I think the water asteroid is probably a good candidate for this, so... We can just set up our uh, simple rocket here. Carbon dioxide. Uh, put on a battery. Some solar panels, which we don't have any glass, which is great. So we're just going to have to power it ourselves. Put on a solo spacefarer nose cone. <laughs> this rocket looks really funny. Uh, do we even have the supplies? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, artifact transport module. I was like, I didn't think they took glass, but maybe not. So yeah, there you go. Just something really simple like that. We'll build out the interior. We'll take some food and we'll just kind of scrap our way into this because we're on this like remote area. We could always send ourselves supplies to generate oxygen, but on this one, I have no algae. I'm also pretty sure I have no rust and no salt. So uh, we're going to have to get creative with how we do this. So we'll get there in just a bit. Okay, we actually do have glass. It's just built into solar panels right now. So I'm just going to deconstruct a couple of these. And I'm also going to get carried away with this idea because we're going to launch a whole bunch of rockets to grab these artifacts. So here's one on the slime asteroid. Here's one on the metal asteroid. I'm going to launch these two from the main asteroid. One coming up on the gas asteroid. So we're just going to go get a whole bunch of artifacts all at once. Now, as far as the strategy for uh, the things that we need, we always are going to... Well, I usually like to take water with me for a couple of reasons. One is obviously so they can use the uh, wall toilet while they're out there. But the other reason is so we can have an oxygen source is just a backup just in case uh, we get into a bad spot like I've done many times before and from forgetting to check on my duplicates. But anyway, uh, what our strategy is going to be this time though is we're going to use a gas canister filler. Um, what this does, I haven't really talked about this before because it hasn't really been needed. But this is kind of the equivalent of... Wait, how do you not have iron? Okay. This is kind of the equivalent of uh, 
the pitcher pumps for liquid. So in a, if you were in like a body of water, like let's say this, you could put a pitcher pump down to pump water out of here manually. And it would turn it into bottles of water that you could then take somewhere. This is kind of the same idea except for it's for gas. So what I'm going to do is just pump a whole bunch of oxygen into that. And I'm going to empty it out and uh, it'll just be sitting here in a bottle. Now we will put a bottle emptier here as well, or rather a canister emptier. So after we pump it all in and we get some in here, uh, we're just going to empty that out and then we will basically have a super overpressurized cabin. Um, I will combat this by having my duplicates stay in their suit so that their eardrums don't get popped. So we're kind of like scraping the bottom of the barrel here to find a way to uh, get these duplicants out there. This is also totally not necessary, just kind of like a fun thing I thought we could do to satisfy one of the objectives. So just gonna kind of uh, send up some oxygen from my normal line since they all should have their own oxygen lines here. Gonna fill up a few canisters full of oxygen and then empty them out. And then when my duplicates are out there, they're just going to stay in their suits, which, I mean, they'll have to catch their breath every once in a while, but it's not like they're going to be doing anything other than just driving to grab an artifact and come back. So, yeah, let me get all those up here. I will get our canisters filled up, and we're going to launch all these at the same time and uh, grab the artifacts, and then that'll kind of call this video good. And I think that'll buy me enough time to get all the supplies that we need to take the next asteroid. So... Yeah, knocking out a bunch of uh, things at the same time, so let's get that done. Okay, so we have the canister filler. Once it gets filled up with oxygen, all we need to do is just empty the storage. A duplicate will need to come here and basically get this canister out, and uh, it'll kind of fall on the ground here. There we go. Oh, whoops, it looks like I already have something that's collecting these. One second. Where is it? got to be in here somewhere. Where are you taking this? Why do I not see this? Oh, it's right here. Here we go. So yeah, make sure you don't have any of those. But that's basically the idea is we can take these canisters. And if you do get more of them, I don't know if there's a great way to move this. Because like we can't really move it inside the rocket. But anyway, these will continue to fill up. All you'll have to do is just periodically come in here and uh, empty them back out. You'll get a bunch of canisters that kind of sit on the ground here, and that'll just be our oxygen for uh, these trips. For any food, we'll just need to remember to fill these up before we go. We have water. So this is effectively what a completed rocket is going to look like. All we need to do is get food, oxygen, uh, some water as backup. I guess the wall toilet does make it a little bit more pleasant to be out here and something to get rid of any of the carbon dioxide and stuff that your duplicate might be putting out the thing with this though is this is sort of going to expose a little bit of an exploit that's in here right now is as long as you have some oxygen in here as long as your duplicate is still in their suit i think that that will never run out of oxygen so yeah we're gonna be doing a little bit of that all right we've got a bunch more rockets to finish up here. So once they're all done, I'll get them all filled up with oxygen, we'll get them all filled up with food, and we'll go get all these artifacts at the same time. Okay, I think we're ready to launch all of these. We'll run through each of them on a little checklist to make sure that we're good. Uh, what I did for the last little bits of oxygen, just to get some stuff in here and not use everything that we already collected, is uh, just put a high pressure gas vent and hook that up. So now we have a saturated atmosphere in here. And then if we need more, we can always empty these canisters of oxygen. So I'll let my duplicate just kind of breathe this until it becomes a problem. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about an exploit with this too. Um, so let's start getting these rockets out. So I need to just change my crew to this. I'm gonna change our destination. This one's gonna go over to this like empty rocket, I guess. So we'll send that one there. Let's get Catalina out of here, which I think we should be good. But what we can do is a lot of times I'll advise you to take your uh, suits off once you get inside. I would typically like to do that more often than not, only because it will spend um, the upkeep required on the suit. 
But if you don't, and you just keep your duplicate in this suit, but they're in an oxygen-rich environment, when they run out of oxygen inside the suit, and then they try to catch their breath from inside the suit, it doesn't actually use up any of the oxygen, which is a pretty huge exploit, actually. So I typically don't try to use that, only because they might fix that someday, and I don't want people's plans to fall apart if they do fix that. Um, that seems like a bug to me, so... If I were making it, I'd probably fix that, but maybe they just don't know. But yeah, so gonna go grab that space artifact. Let's grab the next one from the water planet. Change our crew to pay, change our destination. This one's just gonna pop over to this like gassy cloud thing. Call that one good. View interior, we'll double check here. We have oxygen, we have food, we have water. Okay, we should be good to go on that one. So go. That was quick. All right, next one, the slime asteroid. Uh, we're sending one out from here. Check the inside. We don't quite have all of our oxygen, but I don't really care that much. We have plenty uh, left over here, so I'm not too worried. So that should be good. We have food, we have water. Let's make sure our pilot is set. Slime, or I guess his name is Meep, but I'm just gonna call him Slime. There's actually two we could go to here. Um, I'll just grab the further one just so we could mine the, or, or rather get to the Closer one if we need to, so there we go. Get that one out of here, launch it. Let's go to the gas planet. This one's all filled up. We have uh, food, we have water, so that one should be good. Let's change our crew. Pay, pay, change. This one's gonna be running out to this really far frozen asteroid, frozen ore asteroid, I guess. Let's get that one out of here. Next, we're going to run our data collection and our shipping rockets at the same time. This will get us from 2 to 10 space artifacts all at once, so it's kind of what I want to do. Let's check the inside. We have food, we have algae, we have water, so we should be good with this one. So data collection rocket. Change our crew. We're already assigned to nails. Let's change our destination. This one we can pop over to one of these two closer ones. Um, I don't remember if we've mined this at all. I don't think we have, so I think the artifact should still be there. So, yeah, let's get that one going. Inside of this one, shipping, we have algae, we have food, we have water, so we should be good. Let's check our crew. Looks like we're set to... Yep, Ari. Let's change it. I don't remember which one I sent it to now. Let me check. Shipping rocket, where are you going? Oh, what am I doing? This little interface between here has always been awkward to me. Where's this going right now? Okay, it's going to the satellite. So we'll send this one to the other one. There we go. Launch. And the two mining rockets. Uh, we're just going to go grab them with this one. So I did put an artifact transport module on these two as well. Uh, let's check the interior of them. There's oxygen. There's algae. There is food, we have water, this one should be good. Let's check our crew on it. Looks like Nisbet. These ones, we don't necessarily have to go too far. We just need to pick up an artifact and come back. So we haven't gone to either of these two before, so I'm just gonna send them here. Same thing with this one, let's check out the interior. Food, oxygen, water, yeah, filtration, batteries on the inside, even though we don't really need it. But that should be fine. So let's get this one out of here too. Let's check our crew. Travaldo, yep. And I think we need to go here. Okay, cool. Uh, what are the warnings? Drill cones missing diamond. Hmm. Oh, I can't reach that yet. I need to fill that one up. All right, let's, so I, I almost got this smoothly done, but we're close. Cancel launch, thank you. Let's get that one uh, loaded up here, but yeah, our star map is just going to look like a playbook or something like that in a football game. So there's all kinds of arrows and stuff like that telling people where to go. But yeah, we're going to have just all of them launching here in just a bit. Here come the last couple. Then once we get our drill cone uh, all filled up. I guess we don't even necessarily need our drill cone filled up for this one, but if we're going to be mining with this, we might as well. Actually, you know what? We don't even need it. Let's just go. All right, last one. And I will just keep everybody in our suits just to kind of prove out that bug. But yeah, uh, once Pei, Pei or anybody else runs out of oxygen here, they will not use the oxygen that's in the atmosphere because of this bug. So yay, let's run our exploits. Here goes our hydrogen rocket. 
and the last one. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of wait for these to finish up. We'll go grab all of our space artifacts all, as, all at once. When we come back, we'll analyze them all and that should be it. So I'll just kind of run off screen for a little bit. Okay, our football play lines have changed. A lot of the rockets are heading back now and with artifacts in tow. But I did want to demonstrate that exploit that I had been talking about. So typically I would say, hey, take your suit off when you're inside there. One of the reasons that I recommend that is because if you have oxygen and you're able to produce it in here uh, reliably, then you don't want to waste time with your duplicate having to constantly catch their breath. But if they are catching their breath inside a suit, they do not breathe the oxygen that's in the atmosphere. So notice that I have nothing that's putting more oxygen into the atmosphere here. And pay, or sorry, pay pay, where are my manners, uh, is not breathing any of the extra oxygen that's out here, even though her suit is out. So yeah, that is definitely an exploit that's kind of a big deal. Again, I'm not going to recommend it too much. I just wanted to talk about it for just a second. Um, I don't usually like to recommend exploits or bugs or something like that, only because if they get fixed, then your setups start to fall apart. So yeah. Uh, anyway, so now that we're getting all the rockets back here, uh, we'll get them there in just a second, and we'll finish this video up here in just a bit as we check that box of all the artifacts being analyzed. Uh, that are found on these different asteroids, so we'll get there. Okay, now that we've got our first shipments back, I realize there's a couple of artifacts that we've already grabbed from asteroids that we just visited, but those were all the ones we could really reach with the rockets that we had. So, in order to analyze these on each of their individual planets, just make sure that the duplicant has the right skills for it in order to analyze it. Then once they're done, we don't necessarily need these rockets anymore, so we can deconstruct them to help save your duplicates some time. And if your duplicates start to get stressed out because uh, they have too many skills on them, considering you're going to need to add some in order to get the artifact done, you can always just scrub them back off. Uh, so just getting this back into a state where uh, we're back to pretty much normal on these asteroids is uh, about expected by this point. So just going to deconstruct all of the tops of these right now, which will help save a little bit of processing power because we won't have to simulate the inside of the rocket. And we'll slowly deconstruct these. Now that the two mining rockets are arriving, uh, we will grab those artifacts out. We will send them again to grab the last two artifacts since they have the most range out of any of our rockets by far. Uh, so yeah, we will do that really quickly once I get these refueled. Then we'll get that researched, and I do want to check this box before this video is done. So, we will check the box, I just need to go grab two different ones. Okay, friends. This is what we've been training for all yesterday afternoon. We are one space artifact away from having all of them done, which will check a box on our list of things to do, which means we are one step closer to victory. And there's most definitely, there should be a celebration every time you check one of these because it's kind of a big deal, but... Oh, it didn't update, but... Oh, we checked the box! We checked the box! Ah! We checked the box! Okay, that's what it should do. Alright, I think that'll be it for this video. That's, in a nutshell, how you can go grab some space artifacts and get that one done. The next one is we're going to get this one done because we will be landing on the regolith asteroid. So we're going to get there soon. We're going to build the great monument. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next part here. Should be out tomorrow. Okay. Bye.